and hello come on in and stay a while everybody welcome to tournament central for the elkhart county historical museum 2021 collections tournament so today we have the first matchup of the opening round so we're all excited uh, today it's a pretty interesting matchup we have a con world war ii landing craft compass going against a con case department woodcutters photograph so both julie and michelle who selected these items will present them they have two minutes to present their item and then at the end you will vote which one will move on so without any further ado here are the videos presenting each item my number one seed for the collections tournament this year and something new to the collection is going to sweep the whole thing. So I am confident that this is going to be the top object when we get to the end of the tournament. Little background, in 1942, Franklin Roosevelt created the War Production Board. It was in January, just a month after Pearl Harbor and businesses across the country shifted gears and began producing objects needed for the war effort. Whether it was automobile plants that started making planes or a furniture tack company that started making cartridge pins, there were so many different industries that were contributing to the war effort and that hit home right here at Elkhart County. CG Con created a compass that was used in landing craft. It's emotional for me to even talk about it, to think about the effort of storming the beaches at Normandy and this compass that would have been in the Higgins boats. So this compass, and we're going to get more into the details as the tournament goes on, because you know this object's gonna be there to the end, was created here in Elkhart County at CG Con, and it came down through the family of the man at Con who was in charge of war production, and that was Hugh Lonnie. And this object was a test compass. It does not have a serial number, but it does indicate that it was for the Navy Department. And it has a lot of interesting specifics on the labeling around it, which we'll address in the future. I do want to let you see the compass, though, so you know that it really is a compass. I love that it's in this naval gunmetal gray and we'll learn more about it as the tournament goes on. Very excited to be part of this first matchup, a sort of con versus con uh, in uh, areas that people probably don't think that much about con, their work in World War II, and in my case, highlighting the at an apartment people probably don't think about, which is that they need their own uh, instrument cases. So, and of course I realize I'm going up against a heavy hitter with the World War II and its impact on local and national history. Uh, but I've always had a real spot, soft spot for this photo. Um, and how often does the little guy get a chance to shine? Uh, Cause that's literally who's in this photo. It's a young men. Uh, in some cases, I think boys, teenagers uh, who worked uh, to, in, as woodcutters. So these are the guys actually collecting the wood for the cases. Um, and I, uh, I love this photo because it's unique to some of the other photos of the, of the con industry. A lot of times those were all inside the factory with highlighting the big machines and everything. Whereas these are just you know, guys out in the woods you know, getting their work done. Uh, it has what appears to be a person of color in it, uh, which is unique uh, because at uh, this time, 1913, uh, well, it wasn't an official policy. CG Con didn't really hire people of color except for menial tasks like this one. So uh, it chose some of that diversity that exists in the county that uh, doesn't often show up in some of those other uh, photos of the of the major industries. Uh, um, and uh, so that so I, I do like that as well. Um, and then finally, um, I love these guys are clearly very proud of their work. Like they knew they were being photographed that day. They've dressed in their nicest clothes and their faces say it all like, yeah, we're gonna get it done. We're the hard workers and we're very proud of what we do. Um, it, it really, it kind of makes me think of the Disney movie, The Newsies, um, like that kind of energy. Uh, and I was a big fan of that movie when I was a kid. So that, that's a big part of why I love this photo as well. So um, I know it's the underdog here uh, in this matchup, but uh, I think you'll agree this is a really cool photo um, and, and it deserves to move on. So of course you are the only ones who can make that choice, but I know you'll make the right one. There you have it folks. Now the ball is in your court. You need to vote to see which one of these two items moves on. Is it the compass? Is it the photograph? You will vote. So all you need to do is to leave a comment underneath these videos. So they'll be posted on the Elkhart County Historical Museum Facebook page, as well as the Elkhart County Parks YouTube page. 
you will vote. Voting will end. This is March 10th. The voting will end March 12th when we debut the next matchup. So you have roughly about 48 hours to vote. So watch the videos, see which one you'd like to move on, leave your comments. So, and we'll see which goes on in the tournament. So get ready. Next Friday, we'll have our new matchup for two new items and we'll see who moves on in the tournament. So thank you for watching.